welcome back to my channel. It is Nella, AKA Naturally Nella. And if you are new here, I love to do hair videos, love to do mommy videos, and overall beauty and lifestyle videos. Today's video is definitely a little bit different than anything I've ever done, but I really wanted to share this with you guys because I feel like after people see my change on Instagram, they're gonna start asking questions and I'm like, I might as well just go ahead and spill the tea on YouTube, that way I can refer everybody over here if they have any questions. So I am no longer gonna have baby teeth. I went, well I don't literally have baby teeth, but I went all my life thinking that I just had small teeth up until a few years ago when I went to a dentist. Um, it was it was a new dentist. Um, and when I was just doing my routine cleaning, they told me, they asked me about wanting to get a gingivectomy, which is basically removing some of your gum to expose more of your teeth. Some people do it for other medical reasons, but for me, obviously it will be cosmetic because I don't have any dental issues. So basically what it is is they remove your gum, that way you will have more teeth exposed, then you'll have bigger teeth. So if you haven't noticed from my previous videos, my teeth are very small. Let me get close so y'all can see. Some people always say they're not that small, but to me it's small. It makes me kind of sub subconscious. It makes me really self-conscious that I have small teeth. I, as I've gotten older, I smile more in my pictures, but it definitely took some practice to just be like, okay, get over it. Like your teeth are small, accept this. And now I'm like, okay, so I have this option to fix this thing that's been bothering my whole life, bothering me my whole life. Should I do it? Should I not do it? I went back and forth with it for a while. And then I was just like, girl, why not? Like, why not? Um, so I wanted to just let you guys know about this whole process. Before we get too deep into my teeth and what's going to happen, I want to go ahead and remind you guys to subscribe, like, comments and share this video. Also follow me on Instagram naturally Nella. So the real reason why I'm doing it is because I I guess I'm okay with my teeth but I would prefer to have bigger teeth especially now that I know it's an option. I am scheduled for my gingivectomy for tomorrow at 3 p.m. Um, tomorrow for you guys is probably a different day because obviously I'm gonna wait to upload this video, but this is the day before my procedure. I am so freaking scared, I'm not even gonna lie. Like I went back and forth like, should I even do this? Like, But I really wanna do it, so I'm just gonna stop being a punk and do it. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Um, I do know that they're gonna numb my gums first and then just start removing the excess gum tissue that I have. Depending on what it looks like, I'll show you guys my gums. If it looks too gross, then I'll just keep that part to myself and just explain to you guys what things look like. But I'm gonna try to like be as detailed as possible about everything that happened and share it with y'all. Just know that I'm scared and pray for me because I need all the prayers I can get. One really cool thing about this is because it's cosmetic, I thought that I would have to pay for the whole thing out of pocket, which most patients do. But for some reason, I just decided to go with the highest dental plan at my job because I felt like it wasn't that much more expensive than the basic plan. So I went with the highest dental plan and thank God I did. So it's at my office, it is I think 200 and something dollars per tooth. I have to get nine of mine done. And basically they were like, we're gonna send in a quote to your insurance company just to see if they'll cover any of it. It'll save you some money, maybe. Um, and you know, let's just let us send in a quote and see if it'll save you anything. So they sent in the quote to my insurance company they are paying for most of it. So instead of paying what would have been what about $3,000 or so, I'm gonna end up paying like $220 and I can't complain about that. That was another reason why I was just kind of like, girl, 220, why not? So I'm definitely gonna keep y'all posted. I'll be back on here tomorrow, right after my appointment to update you guys on exactly how I'm feeling. 
After I'm all done with healing up on my gingivectomy, I do plan on getting Invisalign to further straighten my teeth. I've never um, had like braces or anything. I've never had anything done to my teeth. Um, this is like the first big thing that I've had um, done, but I am gonna get Invisalign. I asked him about it, like my candidate for it. And I'm definitely gonna get it because this tooth kind of comes out a little bit further than this one. And I just want my teeth to be completely straight. So I'm definitely gonna get Invisalign probably sometime this year, early this year, just so I can perfect my smile because I feel like I deserve it. It's officially day five, it's Sunday. I got it done on Wednesday. I guess I counted, well, I guess it's day four because Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's been four days since I got my gingivectomy and I'm just gonna tell you guys about the experience. Here is a clip of me inside of the office before they did everything and numbed me up. I am so scared. I just got my gums numb and I'm just waiting at this point for the dentist to come back. So when they numbed me, um that was probably the most painful part and honestly it wasn't that painful they just numbed like a lot of the top area so that i wouldn't feel it um when he used his tools to remove my gum there's two ways you can get it done you can either get it done well two ways that i know of you can either get the laser procedure done or you can get conventional which is when they use i'm assuming the scalpel and they just you know take it off on their own like they remove the gum on their own without like any laser tools. And that's what I did. I got the conventional method. So after they numbed me, um, he, you know, just kind of asked me what I wanted it to look like, told me what, you know, he thought would be a good amount. And we kind of just kind of went back and forth. And at the end of the day, we decided that we wouldn't take way too much off um, because I would have a follow up two weeks from now, which is really three weeks from now because I didn't want to do it two weeks from now because my birthday is coming up and I didn't want to like, be in pain or recovering during my birthday. So I'm going back in three weeks and at that point he'll make any corrections or if you know I feel like I need to take off any more, then he'll take it off at that appointment. So I asked my Instagram followers if y'all wanted a video now and then an update later or if I should wait until I get the corrections done and get a little bit more taken off and then put the update. But overwhelmingly people wanted me to go ahead and post the results now and then share the update later so that is what i'm doing anyway so when they numbed me that was the most painful part then he used his tools removed the gum used the, i used a mirror to see if i liked it i couldn't really smile that much because my top lip was numb so i couldn't really tell if it was something that i liked um, but I definitely could see the difference off. I'm gonna put pictures up of my before smile on the screen or somewhere and then show you guys what my teeth look like right now. Before when I used to smile, all you saw was a lot of gum at the top. And like I said, you can see it on the pictures that I am putting up right now or picture that I'm putting up right now. I don't know if I'm gonna do one or more than one, but um, there was just a lot of gum and I just, it's just my biggest, honestly, my biggest insecurity. Um, and now when I smile, you don't even see all that much gum. You see a little bit, but not that much. So when I go back, I'm not gonna take off that much more because I don't want my teeth to be like overwhelmingly big, but I do want them to be just a tiny bit bigger. And then the sides, like right here, I want that to definitely go up a little bit more. This side's fine, maybe a little bit more on this side, but I wanna go up more on this side for sure because there's still like a lot of gum right there. Um, But yeah, so after I got everything done, I left the office, I was of course numb. Um, There wasn't that much bleeding, but there was like, like the bleeding stopped by the time I left the office. Um, and he put like gauze over it and let me sit there for 20 minutes and then um, 
then I left, got to the car and I saw like the blood clotting around um, the areas that he removed the gum. I was looking at it like, I mean, I'm a nurse, so I'm not easily grossed out, but I'm like, oh my God, this better heal the way I want it to heal. And I am obviously still healing right now. He never said I couldn't brush. I just used like a baby toothbrush and I'm brushing downward. So at first I'm like, is that food? I have like two friends that are dentists. So I text my friend and I'm like, girl, I think my gums are growing back over my teeth. She was like, no baby, your gums have to reattach, basically attach back to your teeth and heal up. Like it's not food or anything. And it is just the healing process. Like relax, give it some time, calm down. Your teeth are gonna be fine. So yeah, I guess that little stuff is just a part of my gums healing. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, like as far as instructions afterwards, like I've been eating soft foods. Um, I did, um, make some little pancakes. I feel like that's soft, like pancakes, eggs. Um, but that first day I definitely took it really slow and I'm still like trying to eat soft foods and I just, if I'm eating something soft, I try to put it like all the way in the back of my mouth because I really am not trying to like get my gums infected or mess up or slow down the healing process. So a soft food diet, he said for a few days. Um, so I guess I can probably start eating a little bit more, I guess, hard foods, not hard, but more solid foods. Um, but I'm just a little bit nervous because my gums are still sore. So when I first got it done um, and the medication wore off, now I ain't gonna lie, that hurt. And I took two Tylenols and knocked the pain out. When I woke up the next day on day two, I was perfectly fine. Just a little bit of soreness and it's extremely, extremely tolerable. I would say probably like a one out of 10 is what I feel right now. And it doesn't even require me to take any pain medicines or anything like that. Um, so, but y'all, I'm so pressed though. Like, look at my teeth. Look at my freaking teeth. Look at my teeth. Like, y'all, I got big people teeth, like grown up teeth, like not baby teeth. I am so freaking pressed. Look, when I take pictures cheesing, I don't want to hear nobody saying nothing, okay? Because I had to like practice smiling with my little bitty teeth, trying not to smile too hard to expect to expose a lot of gums. So there are some pictures where it's just like I'm smiling so hard that you can see a lot of gums. But I have a lot of pictures where I like have a controlled smile and I'm like smiling really low. <laughs> and I literally had to practice that. My It's like I just, I didn't even realize I was doing it, but I've kind of like practiced that my whole life to keep from exposing all that gum. But yeah. I got big people teeth. I'm a grown up. I'm pressed. <laughs> Let me stop. No, but I am so in love with the results. I'm definitely going to um, keep you guys posted on the update. So it'll be in a few weeks, sometime in early February, because my appointment is on January the 27th or the 28th, one of those days. So I'm gonna do an update video on my teeth. Y'all can stay posted on Instagram to see like in my stories anyway. When it heals up, I'll like show more of that in my story. And I'll also keep some for the, keep some clips for the updated video as well. So Instagram, naturally Nella, keep up with the healing process. Or like I said, just stay tuned for the next video. And I'll be sure to like post every few days, like what my gums are looking like. If you're considering getting a gingivectomy, I'm, I was so scared. I think I said that earlier, like I was so scared. Like I almost canceled the appointment. I'm so glad that I did. If you're considering it, I definitely think it's worth it. It made such a huge difference in my smile. Such a huge difference. Like I cannot believe I don't see a million and one centimeters of gum right now. Like it just doesn't feel real. So I'm gonna be talking like this like a lot no but if you're thinking about it definitely go ahead and do it definitely worth it i feel so much better about my smile and i don't think you will regret it at all just do your research on who you want to get it done you can ask them for before and after pictures from previous patients um and you'll be just fine like i think it's definitely worth it
stay tuned for the journey. I promise, promise, promise to keep you guys posted on um, any updates that I do in February. If for some weird reason I end up not doing um, extra in February, which I think I will do, then I'll just show you guys an update of this. But I need them just a tiny bit, tiny bit bigger, just a tiny bit. Um, and I'll keep you guys posted. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and follow me on Instagram.